Hello YouTubers, Custom Comments here with another review of the Hellboy 2019 PS exclusive version Hellboy by Mesco 112 <coughs> and <coughs> y'all know I did a review on the regular one so <coughs> my girlfriend surprised me with this one and this is the one that comes with the long horns so we will most definitely be taking a closer look at that but first i just want to show you the metal container it comes in this is not plastic or cardboard this is metal and as you can see this is very nice mescotoys.com hellboy wow it's got a little weight Yes, you see, Hellboy 2019 PS Previews Exclusive, MescoToys.com, 112 Collective, Pose, Play, and Display. Okay, so let's sit this down, and raise this up, and it's on a hinge. So, as you can see, as you can see, Mesco 112. Alright, enough of this. I showed you the container it comes in, which is metal. Okay, so we're gonna get this bad boy out. Let's get it out and see how it is. Okay. And here is the Mezco Hellboy PX version, exclusive version. And right, as you can see right now, there's really no difference than the regular version. Okay. It's just the uh, extra accessories he come with. Uh, everything else is basically the same figure as before the regular one. So yes, exactly the same figure. And I do have him right here. So as you can see, exactly the same face sculpt, same body, pants, belt, fist, just the different accessories okay yes both look very good I'll move him out the way so I won't spend too much time showing this part of them so let's go ahead and get to the accessories so we'll stand Hellboy back here all right let's go ahead and get to these nice accessories uh, his hand Clear that up. Okay. You get an extra piece to his uh, hand, his big fist. And I think on this version, you get sort of an open uh, fist where he can hold his sword. He can hold his sword in this hand, his big fist hand. As you can see, it's open. And he has the closed fist all the way on, on now. Okay, you get his sword. Cool. You get the flame effect, fire effect on his sword. We most definitely see how that looks on him. You get his gun holding hand. Nicely sculpted, painted I like the fingernails, just like the other one. You get a fist hanging. A closed fist hand. The hand I got on now is the one that holds the sword. And he also has the gun in his holster. Okay. You get sort of a grabby hand. See the veins. Nicely sculpt paint. Okay. And this is the best part of this figure. You get this head sculpt with the big long horns. I wish they just would have added this in with the other one, but it's where, if you want, it can be expensive. You want to display both of them differently. Like, I'll most definitely leave the other one with the jacket on. This one will be shirtless. Okay, the head scope looks amazing. And you get this fire effect piece right here. 
that goes over top of his head and this is a hair piece and I'll show you how that works too very nice you get the lucky horseshoe okay all right and you get the shirt okay and you get a base you know it's the same as the uh, original version the base and the stand so um so let's go ahead and see how some of these and also his gun okay did they call this one the samaritan or i don't know if they call that samaritan in this movie can't remember but this is his gun Stand up, hell boy okay and the chamber does turn or not chamber but what is this I'm not a gun person okay maybe it is but that's cool I like the details on that okay let's clear that up clear 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 all right so and you can swap the horns if you want to you can take these short ones out because this face right here is a grimace and face showing the teeth a little bit this one doesn't show at all but you can um swap the horns and put it on this one if you want i'm not going to do that i'm just swap the whole head okay you got something on his head. You just put it up like that. And you can put the. Yeah, there we go. That is dope. That's sick. Okay. So, let's go and get his gun back in his. His holster back here. Get that in there. All right. We got his gun in. Looking all dope. Okay. And before I put the accessories on, let's go over the articulation. Okay. Which is the same as the other one. So, head can look down. Not up. Because of the hair. Okay. He can go side to side. He can tilt. Okay. Or expression. The shoulders on a hinge <clears throat> go up that much. Okay, uh, he can do a full 360. Okay, you get a single elbow joint. Okay, no bicep swivel, but you get a, fo a forearm or whatever swivel here. Uh, you also get a swivel here. This is a big hinge. Okay. You get an upper torso movement, can crunch down between the waist and the upper torso that much. He can go down that much. I mean, not extraordinary Mayfet style or something like that, but you know, Mesco. It's basically just sculpt, soft goods, and just a little, decent articulation, okay? Legs go up that much, okay? He can kick up that much. All right. Double jointed knees. All right. You get a thigh swivel. You get a shin swivel, upper boot swivel, whatever. You get a hinge foot. You can go back that much, up a little bit, more back than up. Okay. You get a, a, a little rocker. So decent, but yeah, this is these are about the same as many. Um, they just mini hot toys, man. Awesome sculpt, but it's very nice, man. I like this version of Hellboy, and the PX exclusive is just extra accessories. It's basically the same figure. Okay, same figure. It looks good so now 
we will show you how to put the accessories on the, on the flame effect I forgot what you call it on this head you put this piece right here I try to peel it off right here and there you go see that now we'll put this piece on and I had to do some modifications to make mine even attempt to stay in it kept falling out but there you go dope see that okay we'll get a sword in his hand that's caliper see can we do that right now okay and his fingers are soft so shouldn't have no problem getting a sword in okay his hands are very soft plastic Okay, and here's the flame effect for his sword. And just slide that on right there. And there you go. He's all flamed up, man. Flamed up. So looks good. Looks very good. Okay. So I do like this version. Now, it's, it's of course it's a choice. Uh, if this version would have came before I bought the other version, I probably wouldn't have bought the regular version. I just would have bought the PX version and be done with it. And you also do get this shirt. I've tried to get this shirt on and I can't. I just can't. I just have to play with it some more. But that's this tank top shirt. Okay. Yeah, so that's about it. I'll do a few size comparisons called it's mass code and plus I already got another review up on the original one. I'll do a couple of size comparisons. Okay. But boy that looks good. Ron Perlman. This is his fire effect on this head. This is an old mass code. As you can see. A lot bigger. I'm going to raise this up a little bit. Raise this up, so you guys can see. Okay. This still is a nice Hellboy. Okay. Ron Perlman. I do like this version better. The newer one. Okay. And of course, this is the original. No difference at all. Okay dope piece though both of them I'm glad to have both okay let's put them up with my new Peter Parker spider-man see how he stands beside him Hellboy is taller okay let's put them up beside some Miles Mayfix. I'm sorry, Peter Parker, Spider Man, Mayfix. As you see, Mayfix is about to be my new favorite toy company, I believe. Because mm, they're just putting out so much nice stuff, awesome stuff. Let's put them up beside a mess code Bluto. And this thing is just a work of art. Mesco kills it, man. And I, I was on a real Batman live stream last week, and I was telling him, Mafex and Mesco is killing it. They killing it, man. And here he is beside the Thousand Toys comic Hellboy. And I think comic Hellboy is a little bit taller. Dope figures, man. Okay. And here he is with the Mezco Prince of Crime Joker with the custom skull Joker head. And I did get my coat in today. So yes, I'm displaying him. He's rocking his trench coat. The black, the purple liner in it. Dope. And I think they are 
Hellboy's a little bit taller. Okay, so looks good, man. Loving it. And here he is with a thousand toys Blaine Killy. And boy, thousand toys are very nice too. Very nice. Okay. And here he is with a Marvel Legends, Peter Parker. Okay. As you see, Hellboy is still taller. And let's do one more. The Figma Devil Man. And Devil Man, like I said, as a Figma figure, Devil Man is huge for a Figma figure. Okay. Cause he is taller than Hellboy. All right. Well, yeah guys final thoughts on this figure it's, it is an awesome figure the accessories just makes it just that much better but boy it gets expensive when they make a, a different version with just more accessories when it could have put it all in one and made it a deluxe package you know what I'm saying so but on the other hand you can display them differently at the same time so I do like that so that's good to have both versions Cause I do still like both of them. You know what I'm saying? So both dope pieces. But yeah, on a scale one to ten, I give them a a nine. Okay, and cause he's awesome. Uh, the horns. When I saw it, when I saw that come, I said, "Damn it, damn it, man! Why don't they just give me long horns at the regular figure?" But I do like the extra accessories awesome piece okay so if you guys got any questions or requests make sure you hit me up in the comments hit me up on instagram there is a lot of pictures of this guy on instagram because i've been editing you know just trying new things so go to instagram and check out some of the photos of this guy but this is an awesome piece okay all right everyone this is custom comments signing out take care peace and we're back. I'm sorry guys. I just wanted to remind, well, show you accessory I left out in his jacket. Okay, he does come with a jacket just like the regular version. As you see, the logo on the sleeve. So yeah, left out the jacket accessory. So I apologize for that. Okay, now, Let's get to doing some editing. Okay. All right, everyone. This is Custom Comics signing out. Peace.